Nancy Drew and the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Why do I keep renting these games? I should have learned my lesson from my Agatha Christie review. These games will never be as good as the book. I am a huge Nancy Drew fan, and I know that might sound a little strange since I'm a guy, and guys are supposed to like the Hardy Boys. I just never found the Hardy Boys compelling. I always thought that Nancy Drew was a much more interesting character. Now I'm purposely only showing clips and talking about the beginning of the game. Since this is a mystery game, I don't want to spoil it for you. The problem with the game is that the puzzles were there just to extend the gameplay. And that reminds me of one of my major gripes with one of my favorite adventure games, The Pandora's Directive. The story was extremely compelling, but there were a couple parts in it where it looked like the publishers only added it to make the game a few hours longer. <coughs> Roswell! <coughs> anyway, back to Nancy Drew. The owner of the Icicle Creek Lodge has hired Nancy Drew to investigate a series of accidents. Whenever one of these accidents happen, a white wolf appears at the scene. Your job is to figure out who or what's been causing the accidents and figure out what the connection to the White Wolf is. Nancy decides to go undercover as the maid of the lodge, but the owner unilaterally decides to expand on her duties. You want to be my maid? That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, yeah! That's an excellent idea! All right, you're my new maid. In fact, you're my new cook, too! Your cook? Well, that way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone. The idea is that you're doing it for show, but then she gives you a huge list of chores to do. Like you're not busy enough. You're trying to save her lodge. She keeps forgetting you're not actually there to be her maid. Or her cook. And then if you don't do something on that huge list that she gives you, she complains about it. Oh, I'm so sorry, lady. Are my free services as your personal servant not up to your high expectations? You also have time limits to get your cooking done. And being the maid of the lodge is as boring as you would expect. When the first thing you do in an adventure game is to make a stranger's bed and pick up their clothes, something is wrong. That's not my idea of a fun adventure game. After you get done with your chores, you can go talk to the few guests. Unfortunately, this is one of those adventure games that if you don't click on all the right places, the story won't advance. For example, I needed to talk to these two guests, but I couldn't find them. It wasn't until I clicked on everything in the lodge that they magically appeared. It was very frustrating since the game has a time limit. You're constantly having to watch the clock. You can change the time in the game, but you shouldn't have to. This game should be laid back and enjoyable. The controls were a simple point and click. They made the puzzles a little bit easier by having the option of making the clickable icons twinkle so you can see them easier. There are a few mini games that you can play to advance the plot. From mine to, I mean clearing the ice to making food for your guests. The controls were motion controlled when you had to make the food and it was surprisingly well done. I think the controls might have even been better than Cooking Mama. Wow, even better than Mama. While there were a lot of options for Nancy to do, none of them were that interesting. That's the main problem with the game. It's just not compelling to play. Even after you get further in the game, it may get a little bit better, but not by much. The game should have been targeted at young kids and teenagers, with simpler puzzles and a more focus on story. I thought maybe I was wrong about the difficulty level, so I gave a copy of this game to my niece, who is 12. She loves the Nancy Drew series as well, but even she couldn't get into the game. She said it was too hard and really dull. Since this Nancy Drew game was like the 16th in the series, I am fully aware there is a fan base for these games. But this is the first time it's been ported to the Wii, and for a first attempt, the game itself is solid enough. It's just not compelling to play, which is unfortunate. I was hoping for a more engrossing story with puzzles that would enhance the story, not slow it down. If you're a Nancy Drew fan and you're older than 14, you might like this game. Anybody else, I would skip it.